And then, uh, for example, um, kakain tayo. So, wala problema. I can shell out some money every now and then. But, hindi yung tipong sobra-sobra na tipong uubusig yung pera ko just to impress you guys. Oh. Hindi ganon. Hello everyone, ako si Marvin Germo. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, paki-subscribe pati pakitamaan yung bell para ma-update ka kada labas ko ng bagong video. Yung adhikain ng channel na to ay para turuan kayo, mabigyan kayo ng gabay upang makatipid kayo, makapag-invest kayo at mapalaki yung pera nyo para bawat Pilipino kumikita at maabot ang kanyang pangarap ng financial freedom. So enjoy the rest of the video. Hi guys, I'm here in City Walk in Dubai. We're with Rod. I'm not sure if you've watched him from several videos. Siya yung nagmamakawa na single, guys. Siya yun, siya yun, siya yun. So he has a, a vlog called Two Kuripot. Ngayon, One Kuripot. Okay lang mga guys, One Kuripot na lang. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Pagpukuripot. Okay? okay? You said that uh, you're very, very Kuripot. Okay, yes. so what, well, what does Kuripot mean? Sige, go. Well, Put it in the context, uh, uh, Kuripot in the sense, I don't spend meaninglessly. So, uh, for example, if I can uh, make home-cooked meals instead of eating outside, I would rather do that. Okay. Um, in terms of um, shopping, I, I don't do that as well. I, I, I shop like twice or thrice a year lang pag mm. mapupuri tayong damit ko. Okay. So, I, I don't really like shop and shop pag may sale. I just do it when I need to. Okay. Like so, eh, baka hindi naman Kuripot yun. That's... For some people, it, it would seem na parang Kuripot siya, but... So, I would say na parang frugal. So, in a way, parang kuripot siya, but, you know, hindi yung extremes. Ah, yeah. kasi, eto, pero madamot ka, hindi. Ay, hindi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that thing is direct. Anong style din sa vlog. Okay. So, Anong difference ng madamot sa kuripot? O, yun. Kuripot is, I mean, I give, I give what I have, but I don't do it like extreme. I don't do it to show off, right? Oh. Uh, I don't spend lavishly for people para lang pakita, oy, meron ako nito. Okay. But, you know, if, if I do have something and then, uh, for example, um, kakain tayo. So, wala problema. I can shell out some money every now and then. But, hindi yung tipong sobra-sobra na tipong uubusig yung pera ko just to impress you guys. Hindi oh. ganon. Anong, anong, anong pinakatulong na pagiging kuripot? Ano yeah. natulong sa buhay mo? Well, for one thing, it helped me to save more. Kasi nga, um, I have to admit, I'm a late starter when it comes to uh, personal finance. Okay, you're 50 what? Again? <laughs> I'm turning 39 this ah, year. Ah, 39? In a few oh, weeks. Bata pa naman eh. Well, yeah, but then again, di ba? Um, Marvin here, for example, started very young. Okay. So if I had learned the same things he learned back then at his age, then I probably wouldn't be working here. Or maybe I'd be closer, like a few years closer to my aim of retiring in the Philippines and doing something I like instead of working for a day Vlog na kayo! Mag-vlog na kayo! <laughs> oh. Yes, please subscribe sa BXG oh. and um, so... So, so, so Dere, ka-clarify ko lang. Ano yung pinaka-difference ng, ano, ng uh, pag-kuripot ka tsaka madamot? Well, Again, kuripot is um, you can still give to people without, you know, um, be, being showy. Okay, uh, yung madamot is talagang wala kang balak ng tigay. Okay. And, uh, so ako, practical lang. If I have some to share, I would happily share it with you. If wala, I'm not gonna pretend that I have it and okay. then end up, you know, blowing my bank account or burning okay. all, all the money I have in my wallet. So it, it wouldn't make any sense. So okay. if meron, pag naka-budget, go. Pero pag wala sa budget ko yan, I'm gonna have to pass. Okay, so uh, just to clarify, sabi mo, uh, you started a bit late already. What yes. what year did you start? What, how old are you when you started? Um, I started, ano, uh, mid-30s ko na. Um, okay. That's when I started, you know, really budgeting, saving oh. my money. And then oh. when I met Marvin here, so that's when I started, you know, getting serious into stock market investing. So just a few years ago lang, mga... Well, five years oh. ako investing in the stock okay. market. Um, kasi I, I learned about it and then nung mm. nakilala ko si Marvin, that's when I got to know yung technical part, oh. yung more nitty-gritty part about the stock market. Okay. And then I, must, I met some other friends here who taught me about real estate investing. Mm. So, yun, I mean, I basically, in the span of five years... This Sobrang yaman na, parang ganun. Hindi naman. Kumaga, okay. I just surrounded myself with the right people to get me on the right track. Okay, so ngayon, uh, how much percentage of what you get do you set aside for saving? 40. 40%? Yeah, so 40% naka savings yun and investment. Nangyayari doon is, ano, yung siya masyadong ginagastos. Oh. Tapos may natitipid ka pa rin. Well, unfortunately for most people, okay. they would view yung frugality as being kuripot. And uh, for, for me, I don't really mind. For me, it's not a bad thing. Okay. Diba? I mean, I would rather be kuripot right now and then enjoy it later than spend it now and then saka pa ako and always mong kuripot kasi wala na akong pera. You, you can't really save unless you see the numbers. It will compel you to save. Okay. Diba? So, what happens is, oh, you have this plan, but 
since you don't set it, you put they don't put a number to it. Then eventually you end up spending, and before you know it, ten years kana dito, di ka parang makawig kasi wala kana ipon. So if you really wanna save money, understand why you're here. You have to go back to your reasons why. Okay, and then stick to it. It's a commitment. It's a discipline. So kalaman discipline nata kasi sarili. You can't always have this mentality na yolo or fomo. You have to think of your future, not just yung spend everything on one goal. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so so every time may salary ka, you automatic you allot at least forty percent for saving. Then you natitira for uh, spending for, and whatever. For spending. Oh. Paano kung natitip ka naman na gagas, gumasos may sale or something? Well, that's why sa, sa, sa savings part ko, di ba, yung sa 40% na yun, at meron akong fund doon na allocated for spending on you know other things. Mm. So nakaset na siya, for, nakabudget na yun. Mm. Yung 55%, ito yung matipong talagang, these are the uh, fixed expenses I have. Yung mga discretionary expenditures, nakalagay na siya doon sa savings part kasi I set aside the budget for everything. Like for example, for travel, okay. if I wanna shop eventually, or if I wanna buy a gadget, gadget sometime. So nakaset na yun, may fund na doon. So that way, Diba? Kahit tumukot ako doon, it's not going to affect yung long-term savings or investments ko naman. Okay. So everything is pretty much, you know, um, allocated na. Dito sa Dubai, hindi nag, uh, ano, hindi nag invest eh, or hindi nag-save ng pera. I always talk about investing, pero I've realized also that a lot of Filipinos don't actually save money. Kung wala ka na ipol, wala ka pang invest, mm. it will be harder actually for you to do it. So, uh, why? Ano yun, uh, the temptation of... By the way, masarap yung coffee doon, percent Arabica. Anyways, go. <laughs> yung temptation kasi of being in Dubai, like, look around you, like, every street corner is really meant to take money away from you, mm. right? So, if you don't have yung discipline to actually, you know, for, uh, forgo that, uh, de delayed gratification, okay. right? So, if you don't have that discipline of foregoing yung gratification mo, mm. you'll never be able to save. And most of them are, some. Sometimes most of the Filipinos here are mm. after a quick buck, mm. right? So kadalasan hindi sa maginvest sa maayos na sa scam pa. Oh. And then dahil scam sila, they don't wanna invest anymore, kahit pa legit yung investment. So so you mean parang ano lang? Mainly because uh, sobrang uh, tempting gumasos. That's why Filipinos don't get to yes. save. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I have to admit, the first time I came here, I thought parang di ako gigas. I mean, I thought to myself, di ako gigastos, okay. right? Pero, I ended up, you know, spending a lot in my first two years. Kaya medyo nalit ako sa pag-start. Kasi ito, ito interesting. Kailan ka pumunta dito sa Dubai? How old were you when, when you came here? Um, well, I first came here in 2004, pero umuwi din ako ng 2006. Okay. And then bumalik ako nung 2014. So I was 34 at the time. So nung 34, may ipon wala? Nung 34, meron na. Ah, meron na. Pero? Pero, nung when I was here, kasi I was thinking, ang laki ng sahod ko eh. Oh. So I was spending then. So nagzi-zero yung account ko every month. Okay. So and then I, eventually, you know, it just came to a point. I realized, I can't keep doing this. Say, I came from a family of OFWs, right? Mm. Some of them, uh, I have to admit, na tipong, they went home, nothing. Okay. So, ano yung largest na parang one month na parang napag-gasos ako na sobrang laki nitong gasos sa isa, isa, isa month? That was when I bought my MacBook Air. Ah. You know, 2015. So mm. that cost around 4,000 dirhams at the time. Okay. So, binaya ako siya installment. Kaya naman, but then again, I realized, kung napag-ipunan ko nilang yun, then wala sa na ako binabayarang, you know, interest or whatever. And I could have, if I waited, I could have bought something more up updated at a actually cheaper price pa. Okay. Okay, ito, ito tanong ko. Uh, last na lang. Hmm. We'll, we'll just end it. We'll just end it here. Kuripot dahil, uh, sabi mo, gusto mo mag-save na money, you want to hit 10 million. Hmm. Tapos naging ano nun, turning point nun kasi matagal ka na dito, wala kang, wala ka na save 34, year, mm. 34 years old. Tapos sabi mo, message mo, yung Filipinos hindi sila nakakapag-save because mm. uh, they're tempted to spend here. Mm. Uh, three tips that you, you can end them that if you if you are in your 30s mm. or your 20s, you're here in, you're, you're probably overseas. Mm. Uh, how can you save money? What, what, what are the tips to avoid temptation that Hopefully, five, ten years after, you get to save for your future. Okay. So, so number one would be automating your savings. Mm. Um, as soon as you get your salary, tabi mo na agad. Uh, okay. Like, what percentage of your salary do you really want to save? Tabi mo na agad. Put it in a separate bank account. Okay. Number two, um, don't go to the malls during sales. Because <laughs> you're really going to be tempted mm. to spend. Um, don't create online shopping accounts. Uh, and, and three, again, remember your biggest why. Why did you come here and yung target mo to come home to the Philippines? So, that's it for now. We feature different people, different walks of life, different things that they do so that uh, one goal lang naman, uh, we, we, we talk to different people so that 
uh, you get to at least hear what they're doing and somehow get snippets about what they do to help you reach your goals of financial freedom. So that's it for now. We have Rod Sobram Puripot. They have a vlog. I'll put the link below uh, just in case you want to know more about him. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye, Subscribe. everyone.